How are you today? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to start by talking about this one-two structure. One-two, don't want to, and the question form. Do you want to? So, one-two means istemek. Evet, bir şey istediğimizde, I want, ya da bir şey yapmak istediğimizde, I want to şeklinde söyleyebiliyoruz. So, let's have a look at the examples. Haydi şimdi örneklere bakalım. I want to go home now. Ne istiyormuş bu arkadaşımız? Şu anda eve gitmek istiyorum. I want to go home now. Daha hızlı söylersek. I want to go home now. Bir de olumsuz örneği. Bakalım. I don't want to go home yet. I don't want to go home yet. Henüz ne yapmak istemiyormuş arkadaşımız? Evet. Henüz eve gitmek istemiyormuş. Biraz daha hızlı söylersek. I don't want to go home yet. I don't want to go home yet. Bir de soru halde bakalım. Burada da arkadaşınız size soruyor. Oynadınız. You played outside. And then you get a little tired. Biraz da yoruldunuz. Sonra arkadaşın sana da soruyor. Hey, do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? Ne ister misin diye soruyor. Tabii ki gene. Do you want to go home? Yani eve gitmek ister misin? Diye soruyor. Biraz daha hızlı söylersek. Hey, do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? Perfect. Şimdi bakalım başka fiillerle de kullanabiliyor muyuz? Tabii ki kullanabiliyoruz. Mesela for example We want to speak English well. We want to speak English well. We want to. Biz ne yapmak istiyoruz? We want to speak English well. İngilizce konuşmak istiyoruz. Nasıl? Well. In a good way. Now let's make a negative sentence. Şimdi hayli bir de olumsuz cümle yapalım. Gene bir statement. We. We don't want to fail our exams. Değil mi? Kim ister ki? Ne istemeyiz? We don't want to. Başarısız olmak. Tabii ki sınavlarımızda. We don't want to fail our exams. Nobody wants to fail their exams, by the way. Do you? Okay. And the last example is another question. Do you want to go out tonight? Faster. Do you want to go out tonight? Burada arkadaşımız ne soruyor? Do you want to go out today? Yani bugün dışarı çıkmak ister misin? Do you want to go out today? Evet. Şimdi burada gördüğümüz Okay, so these are some words about places in the city. Bazı şehrin içerisinde bulunan bazı yerler ve isimleri. Önce bu isimleri teker teker tekrar edeceğiz. Ve ardından bazılarıyla want to kullanarak bazı örnek cümleler yapacağız. Hazır mıyız? Are we ready? The first word is building. Biliyorsunuz build demek, inşa etmek. Buradaki ing kirine bina anlamına gelmiş bir isim yapıyoruz. Building. A 
Airport. Repeat after me. Airport. And train station. Repeat after me. Train station. And next, cinema. Oh, we also use this word in Turkish, right? To check the words, cinema. Let's go to the cinema tonight. Mm, good. Home. Sweet home. And cafe. Cafe. Mm, let's go to the cafe. And school. We love school. And everybody loves school. Who doesn't love school, huh? And library. You know, we read books in libraries. And we don't speak loudly in a library. And fire station. When there's a fire, fire station takes action. And this one, post office. When we want to send a postcard or a letter, we go to the post office first. And barber shop. And barber shop. We go to barber shop and we have haircut. And furniture store. Furniture store. In a furniture store, we buy sofa or nightstand, study desk, and all the furniture for our homes. And museum. Hmm. We use the same word in Turkish, right? Museum. And finally, shopping mall. Oh, we have a shopping mall in Çanakkale. It's called Onyedi Burda. Yes. Now, let's make some sentences by using these words. And I will be using these words and also I'm going to try my best to use one, two, structure. Okay, one, two, nereye gitmek isteyebiliriz? Bunların arasından. Sinema. Mesela, sinemaya gitmek istiyorum. Nasıl derdiniz? Tabii ki de want to go olarak. Bir düşünün bakalım. I want to, I want to, I... Evet, I want to go to the cinema. Hatta bugün gitmek isterim dersek, I want to go to the cinema today. Peki, arkadaşımıza sinemaya gitmek ister misin diye sorar, sorarsak. Bir düşünün. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you. Evet. Do you want to go to the cinema? Bakın, go home, eve gitmekken, go to the cinema. Bu sefer sinemaya gitmek oldu. Um, let's use this word. Cafe. Hmm. Okay. Şu köşeyi dönerken güzel bir kafe var. Oraya gitmek istiyorum. Ya da gitmek ister misin? Haydi. Want to olarak yine örnek cümle yapalım. I want to go to the cafe around the corner. Eğer soru sorarsak, yine sizde. Do you? Yes. Do you want to go to the cafe around the corner? Perfect. And school. Everybody wants to go to school. School is lovely. Sometimes we don't want to go to school because we feel sick or ill. And Sometimes we want to go to the library. We want to go to the library 
to study for our exams. And, of course, shopping mall. Especially on the weekend, we want to go to the shopping mall with our friends or with our family. Okay, so this is how we use want to, don't want to, and do you want to. See you in the next class. Bye. Hello everyone, how are you today? And now we're going to talk about past progressive. Biliyorsunuz, geçmiş zamanda bahsederken bazen fiilleri ikinci halini, bazen ise tatlı gördüğümüz was the verb and verb ing kalıbını kullanarak cümleler yapabiliyoruz. Past progressive tensinde o anda duş alıyordun ya da alışveriş yapıyordun, seni bekliyordun ya da seni beklemiyordun şeklinde yapıyordun, ediyordun tarzı cümleler kurmak için kullanıyoruz. Şimdi bakalım gördüğünüz gibi you, we, they ve diğer çoğul özünlerde were ve hatırlarsanız were, are yani be fiilinin Present tense form olan are'ın geçmiş hali were. Yani you were, or we were, or they were, or my cousins were, were ing. And the second part is I, he, she, it. Ya da özel isimler. Ahmet, Sandy, my father. Onlar ise was plus verb ing. I was verb ing, he was, she was, or it was verb ing. Şimdi örnek cümlere bakalım. Let's have a look at the examples. I was having a shower when you called. Evet. Bu ne yapıyor arkadaş? Ne yapıyormuş? I was having a shower when you called. Yani sen beni aradığında Duş alıyordum. I was in a shower. And the second example. We were playing soccer at 6 o'clock. Saat 6'da biz futbol oynuyorduk. Repeat after me. We were playing soccer at 6 o'clock. And the third example. Emma was dancing with her friends. Peki Emma ne yapıyormuş? Evet gördüğünüz gibi dans ediyormuş. Kiminle birlikte? With her friends. Again, repeat after me. Emma was dancing with her friends. Şimdi bir önceki dersimizde gördüğümüz bazı kelimeleri bu Past progressive tense ile birlikte kullanalım. Neydi onlar? Let's remember those words. Building, airport, train station, cinema, home, cafe, school, library, fire station, post office and so on. So these are the places in a city. Okay, let's make an example with past progressive. For example, hmm, look. We have airport. Um, yesterday at seven o'clock, I was waiting for a friend at the airport. I was waiting for a friend at the airport. I mean, how long did I just make your turn? Bunu train station we are at is yesterday at seven o'clock. I was waiting for a friend at the train station. I was waiting for a friend at the train station. Hmm. This is like two saati de de sinemada film izliyordum. I was watching a movie in the cinema 
yesterday at 7 o'clock. I was watching a movie in the cinema at 7 o'clock. And also here, let's use cafe. For example, dün arkadaşlarımla kafede konuşuyordum. I was chatting with my friends in a cafe yesterday. I was chatting with my friends in a cafe yesterday. And we also use past progressive in negative sentences. Past progressive tense müzi aynı zamanda negative cümleler yaparken de kullanıyoruz. Bu sefer was the word Tabii ki were not ve was not. Daha kısa haliyle weren't ve wasn't şeklinde. Yani you weren't, we weren't, they weren't ya da I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't or it wasn't. Şimdi örnek cümlelere bakalım. Bu örnek cümlelerde iki tane örneğimiz var ve ikişer iki tane diyalog göreceğiz. Okay, now we're going to see two dialogues where we used this past progressive both in positive and negative forms. The first one. Was your mother swimming in the pool? No, she wasn't. She was sunbathing. Hmm, bakalım ne soruyor? Was your mother swimming in the pool? And then Havuza yüzüyor muydu? No, she wasn't. She was sunbathing. Hayır, yüzmüyordu. Ne yapıyordu? She was sunbathing. Yani güneş banyosu. Yani güneşleniyordu. Let's have a look at the second dialogue. Were you waiting for your friend in the mall? Hmm, arkadaşınız sizi alışveriş merkezinde görmüş. Ve o sırada siz böyle ayakta dikiliyor musunuz? Ve arkadaşınız size sonradan soruyor. Were you waiting for your friend in the mall? Sen arkadaşını mı bekliyordun alışveriş merkezinde? And the answer is No, I wasn't. I was waiting for my dad. Hayır. No, I wasn't. I was waiting for my dad. Babamı bekliyordum. And now, I'm going to show you the exercises you're supposed to do this week. Evet, şimdi kitaptan bu konuyla ilgili neler yapacağız onlara bakalım. Gördüğünüz gibi aynı ünitede, 5. ünitede, 36. sayfada önce Buradaki uh, parçaları dinleyeceğiz ve ardından kendi cümlelerimizi yazacağız. Cümlelerimizi yazarken de buradaki fiilleri kullanacağız. Aynı zamanda yine burada bir dinleme ve tekrar etme çalışması var. Ve burada da aynı şekilde dinleme ve tekrarlama çalışması yaptıktan sonra buradaki resimlere bakacağız. Ve burada listen and circle dinleyip Yes ya da no şeklinde cevaplar vereceğiz. What were they doing? Ne yapıyorlardı bu insanlar? Ve son olarak da bu örneğe bakıp kendi sorumuzu yazıp cevaplayacağız. Evet. Buradaki parçada ise Buradaki doğru kelimeleri doğru yerine yerleştirdikten sonra Burada ise bir önceki konuyla ilgili What were they, where were they yesterday? What were they doing there? Sorusunu cevaplayacağız. Her bir resim için. Yani Bu insanlar ne yapıyorlardı? Evet. Bu hafta kitabımızdan bazı alıştırmalar yapacağız. Beşinci ünitemizde yani Evran Town ünitesinde, sayfa 34'te, önce bu verilen diyaloğu okuyacağız. 
Aynı zamanda dinleyeceğiz ve telaffuza dikkat ederek tekrar okuyacağız. Ardından bu, buna benzer bir diyaloğu aşağıdaki mekan ve fiilleri kullanarak tekrar yazacağız. Mesela burada hmm, spor parkına gidebilir üzerine belki de müzeye gidebilir miyiz şeklinde değiştireceksiniz. Ardından burada verilen diyalogda eksik kalan parçaları doğru yere yerleştireceğiz. And now let me show you your homework from the workbook. Evet şimdi size workbook'tan haftalık ödevinizi veriyorum. Beşinci ünitede gördüğünüz gibi bir önceki videodaki konuyla ilgili alıştırmalar var. Yani sayfa 34'ten başlıyor. Ve bir sonraki sayfada gördüğünüz gibi 36, 37, 38, 39, 5. ünitedeki bütün alıştırmaları yapıyoruz ve sonra cevaplarımızı beraber kontrol edeceğiz. So, see you in the next class. Bye! Your uncle is coming to visit this weekend. Great, he's always fun. Mom, can we go to the sports park when uncle comes? The sports park? What do you want to do there? I want to go rock climbing with him. Is everyone ready to have a good time? Yes, we are! D. Listen and write the number, then act out. What are you working on? I'm making a toy car. It's for my friend from Cuba. It looks interesting. How does it move? It runs on a battery. When is your friend coming from Cuba? He's coming to visit this weekend. What are you going to do? I'll show him around town. Have fun! Thank you! A. Listen and repeat. Then point and say. 1. Library. Borrow books. 2. Stationery store. Buy a birthday card. 3. Supermarket. Shop for groceries. 
Four. Art museum. See an exhibition. Five. Post office. Mail a package. Six. Police station. Report a missing dog. Seven. Sports park. Jog on the track. Eight. Train station. Wait for the train. B. Look at A. Listen and repeat. Then ask and answer. One. Where was she yesterday? She was at the library. What was she doing there? She was borrowing books. Two. Where was he yesterday? He was at the stationery store. What was he doing there? He was buying a birthday card. Three. Where was she yesterday? She was at the supermarket. What was she doing there? She was shopping for groceries. Four. Where was he yesterday? He was at the art museum. What was he doing there? He was seeing an exhibition. Five. Where was she yesterday? She was at the post office. What was she doing there? She was mailing a package. Six. Where was he yesterday? He was at the police station. What was he doing there? He was reporting his missing dog. Seven. Where were they yesterday? They were at the sports park. What were they doing there? They were jogging on the track. Eight. Where were they yesterday? They were at the train station. What were they doing there? They were waiting for the train. C. Listen and repeat, then ask and answer. 1. Were they borrowing books at the library? 2. Was she shopping for groceries at the supermarket? 
D. Listen and circle yes or no. What were they doing? 1. Was she mailing a package at the post office? 2. Were they shopping for groceries at the supermarket? 3. Was he reporting his missing dog at the police station? 4. Was she buying a birthday card at the stationery store? 5. Was he waiting for the train at the train station? 6. Now it's about you. Where were you yesterday? What were you doing there? A. Look and listen, then choose and write. Oriental Pearl TV Tower There are many great places in Shanghai, but my favorite is the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. It's 468 meters high, and it's the tallest TV tower in Asia. The tower has 11 large and small spheres which look just like pearls. Each sphere has a sightseeing deck. The best sightseeing deck is in the upper sphere of the tower. It's located 259 meters off the ground. Here, you can actually walk on the thick glass floor and see the view under your feet. It can be a little scary, but it will feel like walking on the clouds. Come and try it. This is Liang reporting from Shanghai, China. A. Listen and answer. 1. What will she do during vacation? Where did the bird go? Three. Are they interested in learning foreign languages? Four. Where was he? What was he doing there?